What's up guys? Welcome back. I'm still recovering from that nasty coronavirus, but let's be frank here, it's been way too long since my last review. And that said, a microphone is a man's best friend and because of that, you will want to have the best bang for your buck. So far, you've been watching me record these reviews using this little lapel microphone over here, but it's high time we upgrade our game. So today we're going to take a look at the Sudotec ST900 cardioid condenser USB microphone. The latest and greatest microphone in Sudotec's long lineup of microphones. But before we dive in, I want to give a big shout out to Sudotec for sending over this microphone for the purpose of this review. And as always, I don't have a horse in this race, so if I think the product isn't worth your money, You'll be the first to know, but if I think this product is great, which I actually do, you'll be the first to know as well. So with that out of the way, let's have a look at the Sudotec ST900 Cardio Condenser USB Microphone for your recordings today. This product came in through Amazon.nl, although it's available worldwide. It came in a little box, in which the box you're looking at right now was tightly packed. The box itself features a ton of information. There's the product name and description over on the left side, along with the branding, something which is featured basically on all sides really. On the right side we see the default setup of the microphone resting on the boom arm with the pop filter in front. It is important to notice that this microphone is a plug and play USB 2 product. There is no need to install any drivers as such. When we turn the box over on its belly, we see the more detailed product description along with a technical drawing of a different setup with a suspended microphone. The frequency response is pretty impressive, not showing any extreme dips across the board. On the right side it shows what is essentially a cardioid microphone, meaning that the sensitivity of the recording area is focused on its center, teetering out on the sides whilst not recording anything from the backside. When we open up the box the first thing you'll notice is the high quality product packaging consisting of these large foam cushions. There's this little user manual, always a good idea to include that. And then we see the pop filter, made up of a metal flexible part, a plastic rim and a soft tensile surface acting as the actual filter. And over here we have the windscreen cap, something which comes in really handy when recording outside. Removing the upper cushion reveals the rest of the package. At the top we see the boom arm made out of metal with nice tight springs. This is exactly what your stand should be all about. Over on the right side we have the shock mount, preventing mechanically transmitted noise. There's plenty of weight to this one with enough flexibility and sturdiness. In the middle of the box we have the table clamp, pretty straightforward. It is good to see this thing being made out of metal through and through. On the left side we find the USB cable along with a handy velcro strap to keep the cable in check. And 
down here is the heart and soul of this kit, the actual microphone. As you can see, it has the USB connection right at the bottom. And over on the front side, there is an LED and a handy mute button. Perfect for when you need to cough or anything like that. And just below that is the headphone jack, allowing you to plug in a headphone or earphones and listen to your own recording with zero latency. Setting up the microphone for studio recording is a breeze. Simply open up the table clamp enough for your surface to secure it in place. Open up the screw at the back side, insert the boom arm and tighten the screw. Attach the shock mount by rotating it clockwise. You can adjust the level of it by adjusting the screws here and here. Insert the microphone from the top and fix it in place. Attach the USB cable from the bottom by inserting the larger port into the microphone and the regular USB port into a laptop or PC. And finally, attach the pop filter on top of the boom arm by using the clamp. This is effectively the weakest link, I find, the quality of this part. For now it seems to be working all fine, although I am curious as to find out how durable this connection will prove to be over the course of time. And then just bend and twist the arm, shock mount and pop filter to your liking until you have found the perfect setup. Oh, and if you're going outside, be sure to fit this windscreen over the microphone. But since we're sitting in the studio, let's remove it and let's go for a little sound test, shall we? Kindly note that these are all unedited, raw recordings unless specified. I'm going to pronounce five phrases frequently used to do audio testing. These phrases are from the Harvard sentences list from columbia.edu. First up, the microphone without windscreen, without a pop filter. Press the pants and sew a button on the vest. The swan dive was far short of perfect. The beauty of the view stunned the young boy. Two blue fish swam in the tank. Her purse was full of useless trash. Now let's try and do this again, this time by using the pop filter. Press the pants and sew a button on the vest. The swan dive was far short of perfect. The beauty of the view stunned the young boy. Two blue fish swam in the tank. Her purse was full of useless trash. Now let's run this sample once more using the windscreen without the pop filter. Press the pants and sew a button on the vest. The swan dive was far short of perfect. The beauty of the view stunned the young boy. Two blue fish swam in the tank. Her purse was full of useless trash. And finally, I'll record a sample using both the windscreen and the pop filter. Press the pants and sew a button on the vest. The swan dive was far short of perfect. The beauty of the view stunned the young boy. Two blue fish swam in the tank. Her purse was full 
of useless trash. And for good measure, let's test the cardioid nature of this microphone by moving around it, speaking from different angles to see how much of this audio is being picked up. Can you still hear me right now? As mentioned before, this microphone features a neat little mute button. So when I press this little thing, the LED turns red and my audio gets cut just like so. Pressing it once more turns the LED back to green, allowing you to resume your recording session. As a cherry on top, I will let you listen to the same recording session using the microphone and pop filter, this time with some basic audio processing using Adobe Audition. Press the pans and sew a button on the vest. The swan dive was far short of perfect. The beauty of the view stunned the young boy. Two blue fish swam in the tank. Her purse was full of useless trash. Overall, this setup, this microphone with all of its accessories look absolutely gorgeous. It is extremely versatile with all of the movable parts being made of high quality materials and it is easy enough to quickly assemble and disassemble. The matte black finish gives it the final touch it needs and for the price this package comes, it is an absolute steal and one of the very best in its price range. One could argue that the only thing that is missing is a dial allowing you to adjust the recording volume. Something you will see at higher price models. But in all fairness, you might as easily do that in your software. All in all, I wholeheartedly recommend anyone getting into voiceovers or instrument recording, vlogging, live streaming and the like to grab yourself this Pseudotech SD900 package. It is currently listed for 70 US dollars or euros and short of the clamp used for the pop filter and an adjustable dial for controlling the volume of your recordings, this thing provides everything you could dream of in this price range. And with that guys, I am signing off. If you have enjoyed this review, be sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new here and do me a favor. Drop a comment in the section down below and let me know if you have any interest in this microphone, if you're maybe budgeting for some other more professional microphone. Let's get some discussion going and I will see you next time.